They laid the eggs. They know how to lay eggs. Yeah. get them nesting box trained. We have a chicken tractor that we made a couple of years ago and it's been great to move around out in uh, out in the open and in the garden and whatnot. Um, we've learned to work with it quite well. So we're adapting that to be a winter home for the for our new flock of laying hens and right close to the house so that we can um, see them and care for them often. So we're raising it up off of the ground by a good bit and adding some nesting boxes. So this is sort of a modular system in that we can take this away and separate it into pieces and uh, use it uh, in the future for other things. So it's two boxes that are essentially built like raised beds, just two by six. Uh, on edge so they just key together with a, with a little piece that that uh, hangs down from the top box into the lower one um, but that's the two separate pieces right there we could use just the nesting box part or just the raised part um, depending on what we're doing with them so the nesting boxes we took uh, our boxes out of the tiny barn when we converted that to a woodshed and I have adapted those. Different doors, it's just one door. I like it. So this is the egg door that I came up with this time. I guess I do it a little different each time. That lets us into each of the, each of those boxes. And it's made, it is very squeaky right now, but it's uh, it's made without hinges. It's just a, a screw through this into that. So it pivots on there rather than a hinge. A little pieces of steel to be our closure. And I tried to uh, keep weather in mind. This has a little bit of a pitch to it. And this tucks under the, the roof line just a bit. So. We don't have too much water going into their zone. Not all of it is built exactly weatherproof. Um, that will, you know, it's made out of wood and it's outside. So uh, it will degrade a little bit, but uh, it was fast and it was free um, and built at about 18 degrees. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it for what it is. Like me. <laughs> boxes. No, it goes down. Oh. You have to do it from the outside. Chickens aren't allowed to do it. Oh. Um, so how do you do that? Oh. Wait. Latches. Latch things. Now you'll pull that. You pull it. Wait. Here's how you can reach and then grab the eggs. Oh, 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 oh. Should we go get some chickens? Yeah. Should we get some chickens? Yeah. Let's go get some chickens. Open, open. Oh. 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 Oh.
because they don't really listen to us. Um, but it helps a lot to have the box up off the ground um, and not too far up off the ground. It helps a lot to have a sense of uh, privacy to it and no direct sunlight on it, especially in the summertime. And it helps a lot to have a little perch across the front so they have a place that they can jump to as they consider whether or not that box is a good place to lay an egg. And this is our ceramic training egg that we put in there not only to help them find the nesting boxes, but also to teach them not to peck the eggs. A ceramic egg is not comfy for the beaks. It teaches them not to eat the eggs. So now we have the chickens very close to us for the winter time. The disadvantage to that is that we will hear the rooster, the rooster Esmia, or Es for short. We will hear him during the night and in the very early morning, but it's completely worth it when there's two feet of snow on the ground and you just want eggs for breakfast. They're patiently awaiting the reveal of their remodel. <sighs> okay. If you want to do a system like this with high density, with that many chickens in that small of a space, you have to add new bedding material every single day. Just like if you're mob grazing your chickens and you have to move them every single day, at least that's what keeps them the healthiest. So I'm adding two flakes of straw every single day and it's going to build compost. The compost will actually heat up underneath the chickens and provide them some warmth from underneath, but you don't want that unless there's a dry layer on the top. As long as I'm adding fresh bedding, it's the perfect situation for chickens, which is warm, dry ground and really good ventilation up top and of course, predator secure. The very next morning after this was installed, we had three eggs all in the nesting boxes. So that's a win. Good job, Nick. This little white one came from one of our brown leghorns. Right, chicken zone. <gasps> Whee! We're Fouch Family Off Grid. Thanks for watching. Dear. Just eyeballing. Dang. Perch, maybe. Nesting place. No, that's their perch that they can jump onto so they can see if there's somebody else in the box. Oh. They like to have why a little. Not just, why not just look right side up? <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at it upside down if they have a perch there. Um, honey, we're gonna, we're gonna turn it over. I can't put it on until it's oh. right. <laughs>